As a business, the increased safety risks associated with the day-to-day -day activities of our fitting staff was identified, specifically the use of small tools. These issues resulted in lost and non-lost time incidents and the potential for industrial ill health such as hand-arm vibration or hearing loss. Our review identified that the competency of people carrying out these tasks was a significant contributive factor in failing to both identify and control the associated risks. To address the issues highlighted by Rowan, we needed a maintenance strategy. One of the key fundamentals of our maintenance strategy is clear guidelines on what is expected of our maintenance teams. On this note, a detailed role profile has been established for both maintenance section leaders and maintenance fitters. The role profile is supported by an annual evaluation of the core competencies, focusing on skills, knowledge and experience. Each section has specific questions which are reviewed and scored by the line manager with the fitter and also the maintenance section leader. Any competency gaps identified are discussed with the individual and a development plan is agreed. The competency assessment has helped me to support my maintenance staff and together we're able to identify development needs and establish plans which they then take ownership for as part of their MyTQM plan. We have established forums which are held on a quarterly basis. These are held as workshops either in a classroom environment or out on site and may involve an external speaker such as the HSE. The key outputs are sharing best practice, developing strategies for current safety issues and developing the core competencies of maintenance section leaders. The forums help us to develop confidence in the specialist skills needed to manage a team. The maintenance section leaders improved the content of a toolbox talk, safe to be a fitter. This was originally prepared by the SHE team, which was felt to be not detailed enough. A short video clip of four personal testimonies from colleagues was included, who had been injured during a maintenance task. The forums have allowed us to shape strategies to reduce injury incidents and increase plant availability. And so, by introducing these processes, we have achieved no lost time injuries and a 50% reduction in maintenance related non-lost time injuries. Improved plant availability. 63% of sites have reduced time loss since 2009, therefore good safety is good business and an engaged proactive maintenance workforce with personal development plans dedicated to their needs.